In this video, we're going to model least squares linear regression on our CPU. Now, I've modelled it first of all on the online calculator called Desmos. So in this instance, I've created a little file here, and we have five points in blue. And you can see that the least squares linear regression fit for these is this line in pink. Now, if I want, I can change each of the points and the line will change with the point. So this is a nice little way of testing out the uh, ideas of uh, least squares for linear regression. Now, what I want to do is take what we have here and I want to copy it onto our machine. So let me show you the code that I used in order to generate this linear regression on the machine. This is the code that I produced in order to generate the linear regression on our CPU. Now I'm not going to go through it in full detail, I'll just give you a flavour of what we have here. So the first part up here takes the numbers that represent our x and y coordinates and plots them on the screen. So we're going to get a plot of the five points the same as we've seen a second ago in Desmos. Now if you can write down the very bottom of the code here, you can see that we can put the values in here in terms of this little um, input. So it's DC input and we've got 1,2 and then there's the colon separates the next point and then it's 10, 17, 30, 35 38, 40, 42, 48. So these are our x and y coordinates, and x and y, and then x and y. Now we can put in as many points as we want here in the simulation, but we have to tell it as well how many points we're actually using. In this instance, we're going to use five points. Now once it's plotted off those five points, it then goes through the process of working out the regression. Now, I don't want to go through in detail the mathematics of linear regression. You can go on uh, line and you can check out least squares fit linear regression and you'll see um, a little equation there that you can use in order to generate the values. So I've recreated that equation here and I've broke it down into small parts. For instance, I worked out the mean of the x coordinate, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, added them together and divided by the number 5 and you get the value 3 and also the mean of the y coordinates. Now one thing to note here is that I've done this uh, with only integer values so it is a bit of a, an approximation so for example the correct value here should be 8.4 but in this instance it rounds it down to a value of 8 so it will introduce a slight error due to the, the this um, rounding in order to provide only integer values. So again, we work through um, the rest of it here, so we can get the sum of the um, the x value minus xb, which is the mean, and uh, we have that squared, and we get this result here. And again, we come down here and we work out the value for the x minus xb times y minus yb. Again, this is all part of the linear regression equation. And finally, we work our way down here to work out the value for a gradient and also the value for uh, the crossover point with the y-axis. So in effect we generate the equation y equals mx plus c. So we've got the m which is one of the uh, parameters and the c which is the other parameter. Now once we've generated this what we do is we pick the, uh, the smallest x-coordinate and the largest um, x-coordinate and then we generate the y points for the line. So in effect, we generate two points. Now, once we've generated those two points, we can take them and we can put them into our uh, plot line uh, subroutine. So we generated the Bresnum's algorithm in order to uh, plot the line on a rasterized screen. And so it goes ahead and it plots the line. And that's us finished. So let's go ahead and we'll see the final result uh, which has already been run on the CPU. So I've ran the 
program on the CPU and it's generated this output here. So let me zoom in and we'll have a closer look at it. So we can see here that if we run up, we've got the five points here which are in white. That's one, two, three, four and five. The red dot here just represents the centre of the screen. And the pink line is the line which has been generated by our least squares fit linear regression. So let's compare it to the Desmos output and we'll see how accurate it looks. Again, the accuracy is, uh, we're not looking at it in really detail, it's just a kind of hand and eye at the moment, just to see whether the actual program is working. Now we have the original five points here, and if we put in the pink line here, this is what the uh, Desmos graphical calculator tells us the least squares uh, regression fit is going to be. So in this instance here, the graphical calculator's values are for the gradient 1.031 and for the value for C, uh, the crossover point with the y-axis is going to be 3.429. Now whenever we run our simulation on our computer or CPU, we've got the blue line here which is y is equal to x plus 4. So you can see here that the blue and the pink lines match up uh, really quite well. Now I have tried another line with another set of points and it was a lot steeper than this and it worked out similarly very very close. So I will continue to test this out for different uh, sets of points but from what I've seen so far, it looks like the regression model is working quite well. And I'm very, very pleased at it. So thank you for listening. I'll get you on the next video. Goodbye.